On this week's edition of Jack TV, we take a look into the upcoming school play, Ulster for Souls, and a unique festival down at Nelson's Atkins Museum. We also look into the United Way talent show and our last band competition down in Indianapolis. Celebrating 10 years of broadcast excellence, this is the award-winning JAG TV. Welcome to this week's episode of JAG TV. I'm Izzy Roberts. And I'm Ty Campbell. This last weekend, our softball team took their fourth consecutive trip down to Springfield to compete in the state championship. Here's Tristan Harris with more. Thanks. Last year, the softball team brought home their first ever state championship. After losing two key seniors, now playing college softball, the returning Jaguars had big shoes to fill in order to defend their title. Well, this past weekend, we got our answer. In the big game, the Jags started strong with a single from Reagan Hecker. Then McKenna Lesser doubled into center field, bringing Reagan all the way home for the score. Then he kept going strong, and Lauren Rogers hit an RBI double to put the Jags up 3-0. In the second inning, Addy Leitner hit a pop-up, and the ball bounced off the first baseman's glove, bringing home a run and putting the Jags up 4-0. The Jags offense was on fire, which caused a pitching change for Ray Peck. But that didn't slow down the Jags as they put up three more runs in the fourth off a couple of Ray Peck errors. Heading into the fifth inning, the Jags were up 7-0. The Jags got runners on second and third, and then Torrey Bradley hit a dinger over the right field fence, putting the Jags up 10-0. The girls needed to hold Ray Peck in the bottom of the fifth to finish off the 10-0 spread. Addie Leitner did just that, striking out a batter for the third out and completing their shutout. The Jags won the game 10-0, claiming their second straight title. The girls were given a police escort on the way home and were greeted by fans, family, and even the mayor of Blue Springs. Champions, right? There is no question that this is a city, a school district, on the move and on the right track. Matter of fact, this is a repeat. And next year we're going for a three-peat. The girls were excited to claim their second straight title and it meant a little extra to some of our senior players and our coaches. Uh, it's amazing. It's kind of surreal still, but yeah, just so proud of the kids and, and what they're able to accomplish. And I don't know, it's just, it's awesome. So. Congratulations to a great season to the softball team. We will have more sports news later in the broadcast with Micah Story. Congratulations to the girls. We can't wait to see what you guys do next season. Evidently, we have students of many talents here at South, and many of them brought their talents together last week to support a great cause. Emily Wilson has the story. Last week, students at South participated in the United Way Talent Show. Students showed off talents from comedy to dancing to rifle routines. Well, I don't know if Senate I President Lauren Lau performed a song from Wicked with sophomore Anna Miller. I was just like, you know what, everyone else is doing it, like I can do it, and um, it's for a good cause, so it was worth it. The proceeds of the talent show go to United Way, an organization aimed to help feed and provide supplies for families in our community. They raised over $1,000 from ticket sales. The performances ranged from fashion shows to singing to K-pop routines. Students cheered for freshman Jacob Rippey as he sang One Call Away by Charlie Poof. It's fun to be on stage and showcase your talents in front of everybody. Great job to everyone who participated in the talent show, and thank you to everyone who supported United Way. I'm Emily Wilson for JAG TV. Last week, the Jaguar Pride took a trip down to Indianapolis to compete in their final band competition of the year. More than 80 bands from across the country gathered at Lucas Oil Stadium, where Jaguar Pride executed a strong final performance. If you would like to watch their performance, go to their website at jaguarpride.com. Speaking of great performances, the fall play, Peter and the Starcatcher, will kick off next week. Brandon has a story. These students have been practicing since the middle of September, spending late hours after school each day preparing to make this production one of the best productions at South. It's called Peter and the Starcatcher. We have uh, Peter Pan, which is played by Mitchell White. He's like on someone's shoulders, and we have people kind of <laughs> doing a lot of physical work, like it's, it's kind of exhausting. It has more than 30 cast members and 15 behind the scenes working a play that has a lot of activity and physical involvement on the stage. Again, probably the accents. Um, you kind of have to get into it and it takes a while to get them down. Um, but now that we've been doing it, I'm actually getting pretty good at doing an English accent. So they can expect um, a story about Peter Pan. Uh, they're not going to recognize the story, I don't think. 
which is going to be fun for them hopefully because this is something that happened years and years before Wendy. Uh, this is about Wendy's mom, Molly, and uh, her interactions with Peter Pan. And actually Peter Pan isn't even called Peter Pan in the story. Save money by buying your ticket online by scanning the QR codes on the poster. Tickets are only $5, but at the door they will be 7 don't forget to come out and watch Peter and the Starcatcher next Thursday, November 14th through November 16th. I'm Brandon Kempf, JAG TV. We can't wait to see how the first production of the year turns out. In other news, congratulations to our November Students of the Month, Senior Cade Berg, Junior Ella Weir, and Sophomores Jordan Riley and Grace Van Housen. We're proud of all of your hard work and academic achievement. After the break, we'll explain why downtown Kansas City is celebrating Mexico. And more coverage of Jaguar sports when JAG TV continues. Hey Jags, Matt Mitchell down at Culver's. All your favorite items still at Culver's. The delicious butter burger, you know you're craving one right now. Cheese curds, awesome french fries, onion rings, and you know you've gotta have dessert when you come to Culver's, right? That fresh frozen custard. Any way you like it, maybe it's a concrete mixer, all your favorite stuff in there. So come by Culver's, celebrate all the awesome things going on at Jag TV. See you at Culver's. Join Big Frog Custom T-Shirts as they celebrate the Future Leaders T-Shirt Scholarship Program. Here's how it works. Now through March 31st, 2020, each time you order custom-made shirts for Blue Spring schools, clubs, and associations, 10% of the total purchase will help fund grants and scholarships distributed through the Blue Springs Education Foundation. It's a win-win situation. Design your own T-shirt at the area's largest selection of styles and colors, and 10% of the cost goes right back into the Blue Springs Education Foundation. For more information, contact Big Frog at 816-795-1115, or stop by and check out the big store. Or Big Frog custom t-shirts located just off I-70 in Independence. Rob, there's a huge spider in the closet. Don't let pests control your life. Let Moxie Pest Control be your pain relief. That means a thorough inspection and treatment without dangerous chemicals. Experience the Moxie difference at KillBugsFast.com. Moxie Pest Control, Kansas City's pain relief expert. Hey Jaguars, this is Brandon Jackley with Chick-fil-A in Blue Springs. I'm the owner operator here for the last eight years and we are so glad to be a part of this community, especially Blue Springs South High School. Uh, come see our new, newly renovated dining room. Also, we're going to stay open late on Friday nights to catch you after the football game, so come visit us. Go Jags! Welcome back. Recently, members of our faculty got together. They rolled up their sleeves and made a big mess, all for a good cause. Oh my gosh. This is so much fun. <laughs> With the help of Miss Martin, some of the teachers got to help out making bowls for souls, which is a big event in February, where homemade bowls are sold to raise money for food pantry. We will have more about this event here in the near future on JAG TV. In honor of a national holiday in Mexico, some of our local Kansas City residents participated in their own way. Reese Betts has a story in downtown Kansas City. Last Sunday, the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art exhibited traditional Mexican culture with this year's Day of the Dead Festival. Oh, the community loves this. The Day of the Dead is a three-day festival which ends on the 2nd of every November. So in many Latin American countries, they really revere their dead. It's an, an event that really honors the dearly deceased and it makes it less frightening and it brings them into the fold and gives the children and the whole family a big sense of camaraderie and connectedness and continuity. The museum allowed participants to get involved personally with Day of the Dead activities for both kids and adults. What we're doing here is we have beautiful little flowers and people are writing their remembrances on there and then they will put that on the altar and then Nelson Atkins will gather those and then they will burn them as uh, an honor to the spirits by letting the smoke escape into the atmosphere. The festival also involves six different traditional Mexican musical and dance groups. It's a cathartic kind of opportunity to let go and to revere the person and their life. This year's Day of the Dead Festival was quite a success, educating people from all over the Kansas City Metro and leading the end of the holiday. I'm Reese Betts for JAG TV News.
museum also has other great activities coming up. For a complete listing, go to their website, nelson-atkins.org. Now for some activities here at South. Let's go over to Taylor for reminders. Hey Jags, here are some reminders for this week. November 8th is the end of the second grading period. Make sure to get your grades where you want them because this year is going fast. Attention seniors, senior quotes for the yearbook are due this week. You can pick up and return your slip outside room 909. Make sure your senior quotes are school appropriate and something you would be proud to show your mother. Senior quotes are due this week. Um, we are creating a great yearbook for you guys and we want you to be a part of it. So turn them in this week. Thank you. Our annual princess party will be Saturday, November 9th from 8 to 2. Princesses ages 2 to 12 are welcome to come for a magical day at South. The cost is $20 and for more information, contact bssprincessparty at gmail.com. Another reminder that our fall play, Peter and the Starcatcher, will run November 14th through the 16th. Come see all the hard work our talented theater department has put into this production. And finally, Thanksgiving is a little later than usual this year, making our Thanksgiving break November 27th through the 29th. And that's all for reminders. I'm Taylor Nicholson for Jack TV. Thanks, Taylor. Coming up, Micah Story will have a full breakdown of Jaguar sports. And we have some free movie passes to give away from Blue Springs 8 when Jag TV continues. What does the Blue Springs Chamber of Commerce do? It supports the growth of local businesses. It holds community events, such as Fall Fun Fest. And it helps community members find employment. Blue Springs Chamber of Commerce, building business, growing community. Dahlquest Dental has been proudly serving Blue Springs and the community for nearly 40 years. They offer family dentistry to all ages, sedation dentistry, wisdom teeth extractions, and implant surgery. When it comes to insurance, they accept Delta Dental and all PPO insurance plans. And if you're on a very tight budget, payment plans are offered through Care Credit. Find out why so many have trusted Dahlquest Dental for nearly four decades. They're located just off the outer road in Blue Springs. Give us a call or visit us at our website, dahlquestdental.com. We'll see you soon. All this took was a pristine SAT, ACT, and GPA. Before that, a healthy dose of travel field hockey, volunteering, the arts, and 18 years of everything else. Sending a kid to college is overwhelming. But to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, start with simple steps today. If you're ready to start, we're ready to help. So let's get started at countryfinancial.com. Call your financial representative, Stephen Perch, at 816-795-6232. JAG TV Sports is sponsored by Rod Sports of Blue Springs. Welcome back, JAG. Congratulations once again to our softball team for winning state back-to-back. -back. In other sports, Last Tuesday, our volleyball team played the Fort Osage Indians in the district semifinal. South dominated the Indians in the first set, winning 25 to eight. The Indians quickly came back in the second set, but South held them off and won 25 to 22. On Wednesday, the girls took on our crosstown rivals in the district championship. Although they fought hard and our girls took a devastating loss at Blue Springs ending the season. Congrats on the great season and good luck to all the seniors in your next chapter. On Friday, our football team headed to St. Louis to face Holt High School in the first playoff game of the season. Holt scored the first touchdown on the opening drive, but South came back and there was no stopping. Max Kennard threw 12 for 20 for 191 yards, one passing touchdown and one rushing touchdown. The Jags quickly took the lead and held on to it, defending the Indians 42 to 13. The Jaguars will be heading back to St. Louis this Friday in the district semifinals to take on Troy Buchanan. Around the area, Blue Springs beat Rockbridge 17-10, Liberty, Liberty North defeated Lee Summit West 31-0, Rockers beat Lee Summit 17-14, Park Hill beat Liberty 8-3, and Ray Peck defeated Lee Summit North 21-14. Girls Cross Country finished second in the sectional four meet with 59 points and five medalists. Maya Trober, Lauren Lau, Caitlin Grover, McKenna Ledgerwood, and Paige Falls, sending them to state for the sixth consecutive year. Congratulations and keep up the good work. Boys Cross Country placed fifth overall in sectionals hosted at Liberty North, sending three state qualifying Boys Cross Country members. Senior Dylan Grover made second team with sectionals with this 12th place finish. 
Junior Jack Klassen qualified for the state meeting, finishing in 12, 25th place. Sophomore Alex Jackson also made it to state in the meet, finishing in 30th. They will have much support as they compete at the new state course hosted in the first time in Columbia. JROTC Raider team traveled to Millennia, Georgia this past weekend to compete in the JROTC All-Service Raiders National Competition and finished fifth overall in the nation against the top Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine high schools across the country. This is now the second year in a row that our JROTC cadets have earned a national champion runner-up award, following up on our male team earning second overall last year. Boys Swim and Dive won fifth place at overall at sectionals. Ryan Griffel, George Barr, Landon Luke, and Josh Hafner placed second in the 200 meter relay race, ending in four seconds under the state cut. Following that, Landon Luke placed sixth in the 50 freestyle. Sophomore George Barr secured a fifth place spot and cut for state as well. Ryan Griffel also qualified for state in the 100 meter backstroke race. Congratulations, boys swim and dive. That's all for sports. I'm Micah Story. Back to you. Hi everybody, this is Sarah. I'm the Group Fitness Coordinator here at Physique Fitness and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the power of Group Fitness. So you can come into the gym, you've got cardio, you've got weights, but the perfect way to complement your whole fitness goals is to join in a Group Fitness class. And you can see behind me right now we've got Body Pump going on and it's a total body high rep weight workout. So along with our weight workout classes, we have core classes, we have high intensity interval classes. The best thing about group fitness is you get stronger together. I always say nobody ever ran across the parking lot for a treadmill, right? You're running across the parking lot to hang out with this instructor that's gonna motivate you and all of these class members that are gonna keep you stronger together. So we'd love to see you at Physique Fitness. Calling all juniors. If you're planning on taking dual credit English as a senior, you must have a 3.0 GPA and an 18 on the English portion of the ACT. So make sure you sign up for the upcoming ACT to ensure your eligibility. With all the big movies coming out soon, how would you like to win free movie passes to Blue Springs 8? Here's Evan Cook with everybody's favorite segment, Man on the Street. Hey Jags, it's your boy Evan Cook out here in the freshman wing and we're about to do a Man on the Street sponsored by Blue Springs 8. Let's go. We're here having an exclusive interview with Cade Berg. Cade, what makes maple leaves turn red? Fall. Thank you. I have no idea. Sap? I don't know. What? Maple. What? I don't know. Water. Uh, do I not give a multiple choice? Uh, no multiple choice for this one. Can you give me at least the first uh, letter? G. Gum. We just learned it AP Bio, but I cannot remember. Melanin. Food coloring. Substance. Water. Um, glucose? That's correct. On how many continents are pumpkins grown? 20. That's very close. Three. Four. Pumpkins? Three? Six. That is correct. Since 1978, what two football teams have hosted a game on Thanksgiving every year? Two of them, uh, Green Bay and Detroit. I don't know. Seahawks and... Cowboys and Lions. That is correct. Sir? Can you tell me, for one free movie ticket, how many turkeys are bought in the U.S. for Thanksgiving each year? 300,000. Uh, Two million. Eight hundred million. Oh, hi. Hi. That's okay. We have a trivia question for you. Zero. I have no clue. That's okay. Can you also tell me why it's so hot in here? It is very hot. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you tell me how many turkeys are bought in the United States every year for Thanksgiving? Two million. Uh. 12 million 40,000. This again? This again? No, uh, uh, 3,200. That is not correct. 46 million? That's correct. 
Thanks, Jags, for joining me on this week's segment of Invading People's Privacy. I'm Evan Cook for Jag TV. Have a great week. Thanks, Evan. Well, that's all for this edition of Jag TV. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and at jagtvnews.com. I'm Izzy Roberts. And I'm Ty Campbell. See you next week, Jags.